Well, we have a little let's look at this one. That's for him. Very it's slight. I call it slight. See the podium? I'm calling on Crooked Joe Biden to debate anytime, anywhere, any place. Right there. And we have to debate because our country is going in the wrong direction so badly. And while it's a little bit typically early, we have to debate. We have to explain to the American people what the hell is going on. Because they're looking at the border and they're looking at inflation and they're looking at the economy, which is terrible. They're looking at every single aspect of our country. They look at the fact that the world is laughing at our leader and laughing at us. And just four years ago was the exact opposite. We were the most respected country in the world. We were the most respected that we were ever respected. Nobody, we were never more respected than we were four years ago. That's right, Trump just called you out, Biden. What you gonna do? You got 24 hours to respond. I wish it was like hip hop, like rap beefs right then. <laughs> Cause uh, we would be waiting for that response, but because we know that, you know, some one of the two are a little bit uh, incoherent and uh, mentally incapable in some in most instances. Yeah, that probably won't happen. And now you got the left screaming, this is the same guy who didn't want to debate during the primaries. Honestly, he didn't have to, and he spent so much of his time in these courts due to your favorite attorney generals, yeah. Plus, if they debated, I'm sure it would go most likely how it went. Uh, so you said you went to Delaware State, but you forgot the name of your college. You didn't go to Delaware State. You graduated either the lowest or almost the lowest in your class. Don't ever use the word smart with me. Don't ever use that word. Oh, give me a break. Because you know what? Yeah, there's nothing smart about you, Joe. 47 years, you've done nothing. Let's have this debate. And if you would have had, let me just... If you would have had the charge of what I was put through, I had to close the greatest economy in the history of our country. And by the way, now it's being built again. Savage. I'm telling you, we need a picture of Don, uh, Don, Donald Trump's. I don't know what happened, bro. I literally just fumbled the play mentally. I forgot that man name. <laughs> we need a picture of Donald Trump's, uh, uh, grandson to see if how that measures up. Cause boy, that was on point. Um, uh, definitely would have uh, loved to see this actually be aired versus the real, the adult ver age version of them for sure. Cause this is exactly what it seems like to the American people. Although I'm a Trump supporter, it just looked like two babies going wah, 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 to the average mind. Somebody who don't really understand what's happening right in front of them. So yeah, man, come on, buddy, pull up, man. Show up, dog, stop being scared. Trump said he's only willing to debate Biden if Biden gets drug tested. Savage. You said you'll debate him anywhere, anytime. Do you think he'll agree yeah, to any, any debate? Anywhere, anytime. Do you think he'll agree? I don't think so, but I hope he does. Do you I think, think he... what happened is, you know, that, that white stuff that they happened to find, which happened to be cocaine in the White House? I don't know. I think, I think something's going on there because I watched his State of the Union, and he was all jacked up at the beginning. By the end, he was fading fast. There's something going on there. I want to debate, and uh, I think debates with him, at least, should be drug tested. I want uh, to Mr. Test President, are you debate. suggesting President Biden's using cocaine? I don't know what he's using, but that was not, hey, he was higher than a kite. And by the way, it was the worst, it was the worst address I've ever seen, State of the Nation. I'll tell you, State of the Union, that's not State of the Union, because he doesn't, he doesn't represent us properly, that I can tell you. But he's, he's obviously, he's being helped some way, because most of the time, he looks like he's falling asleep, and all of a sudden, he walked up there and did a poor job. But he was all jacked up. Mm, I mean, decent idea, in my opinion. All politicians should be subjected to a drug, random drug test at some point. Couldn't agree with Trump, you know what I mean? He definitely raised the people's eyebrow. Got me over here like, hmm, you know, we, we couldn't put two and two together. We weren't able to put two and two together as it relates to that, simply because we know we have a hunter. Huh. Um, as well, and a lot of the accusations, a lot of my assumptions move doors towards him as it related to that. But what if, right? But Biden, you're gonna have to respond, man. You got your own people over there ripping you apart for not debating Trump. 
You know, for a president who talks about democracy and how important democracy is, I think he should absolutely debate him. The American people deserve to see our two um, presidents who are right. running for president debate on the world stage. Um, that's democracy in action. And so absolutely he should debate him. Y'all know Biden ain't going to show up to no debate. He's he's not going to do it unless he show up with something scripted in front of him. And he knows the question is going to be asked and all that. If it's unscripted, you can forget about it. You, when was the last time you seen the man he show up to an unscripted interview or a podcast during his campaign? Please. It won't happen. And as the leader of the free world, it does make you look pretty weak, man. You don't want to respond. You ain't going to say nothing. Huh, it's a quite weak position for a leader uh, of the free world to take, for sure. But then again, honestly, maybe I'm okay with it not happening in the end, right? Uh, there's never been a debate when it comes to these two and we actually hear about the policy issues and things of that nature um all we see is lies becoming more rampant in the media and anything that uh either one honestly either one of them talk about get overshadowed simply because <laughs> it's them uh the moderators are usually extremely biased and leaning towards the left huh, um and going against the gop for sure so Mm -hmm. This is it's still a uh, I'll be all right, but I still want it to happen. It's the Gemini in me. <laughs> so, I mean, think about it. Even when you go, yeah, it should happen. You start to have intrusive thoughts like uh, what planet have uh, people been on? Because I don't think body can string even a sentence together. That's not scripted. Honestly, literally. We talked about we talked about at the conference overall. We talked about stability. We talked about making sure that the third world, the uh, excuse me, third world, the uh, the the, uh, the southern hemisphere had access to change. It had access. We, it wasn't confrontational at all. You came up with thank, thank you, everybody. This ends thank, the count press thank, conference. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. with every person I've met with. Mr. President, are you worried about your son being indicted, Mr. President? Man, I'm so damn tired of people adding music to these clips. Gosh. Ah, ah. Let's be honest. Not debating Trump. Mm, that would probably be one of the best moves for Biden. The left will just say it only gives Trump a platform and a voice. Everybody saying that Biden is obviously, you know, diminishing as time goes on and biden for sure don't want to address clips like this is there anything joe biden could do or say between now and and, and the time you vote <sighs> that would make you feel differently about feeling that his policies would not be as good for your family on the economy or have you, have you pretty much decided that trump's policies would be better for the I, economy i mean i feel like he doesn't even take accountability for what's at all with what's going on right. in the economy not even accountability like he's in denial that it's happening the point is biden needs to hear the people because when he's talking about the economy doing stellar he's talking about the stock market he's not looking at homelessness or joblessness he's not at right. his point and thinking about how much it costs to go to the grocery store and he's gaslighting literally everyone in the process okay. and, and omar you voted for joe biden last time right yeah yeah six raise your hand if you think president Trump's policies on the economy would be better for your family personally. Raise your hand. All right. So that is everybody. President yeah. Biden uh, argues that his economic record has been very good. He said President <laughs> Trump's was not as good. Um, what, 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 what are you keying off of? Uh, Sean, since you had the best smile I mean, in Virginia, the second I, best smile, what are you keying off of to say President Trump's economic policies would be better for I you? I mean, the, my past performance of my of my 401k, I know it was post-2020 and everything kind of flipped around, but you can't you can't blame everything on 2020 for forever. We have areas here in Pennsylvania where it's just at a standstill right now. Like things are supposed to be being built, and the interest rates are just way too high for people to 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 you know invest and and start moving moving around. Yeah, and Virginia, just staying with you because because Pennsylvania is near and dear to Joe Biden's heart. Are there Biden policies that you would blame for the problem, and if so, what are they? The interest rate is so high right now, and I know they're trying to um, cut the inflation down. But like, if nobody is building, no no businesses are really coming to Pennsylvania right now to keep us moving forward. Even if you're trying to um, buy a house, because I'm trying to become a first-time home buyer, the prices are so high right now. It's just hard. 
Is there anything Joe Biden could do or say between now and, and, and the time you vote that would make you feel differently about feeling that his policies would not be as good for your family on the economy? Or have you, have you pretty much decided that Trump's policies would be better for the economy? I mean, I well, like we've already like seen that part. We even have my guy Vivek Ramaswamy saying that the country would be well served if Biden and Trump face off and have an open debate. If Biden ducks, that will tell those who claim to stand for, quote, our democracy, end quote, all they need to know. Let's check this clip out. An open letter calling on both President Trump and President Biden to have a debate ahead of the presidential election this year. And for once, with the media, I actually agree with them. This is important for the country. We're about to select a president at one of the most perilous times in our nation's history. We're skating on thin ice as the United States of America. We're deeply divided. I don't think we're as divided as the media teaches us to believe, but we're taught to believe we're divided, which has an effect on the way we think about our national division. Now is the time more than ever that we need more speech, not less speech, more debate, not less debate. So whether it's Trump or Biden, I think it's perfect for these networks to call on both candidates to step up to the plate and do what's right for the country. State your views. Acknowledge that most people in this country may not agree with every last thing you have to say, but that's okay. You don't have to agree with the presidential candidate on everything. But you do have to know that they're giving you what they believe 100% of the time. And no better way than to suss out the authenticity of a presidential candidate than on a debate stage. I was on a debate stage for the first time, by the way. I've never run for office before. But I think those Republican presidential debates were productive for the candidates who were on that debate stage. People will say, oh, well, Trump didn't participate there. Well, he was, let's be really honest, 50, 60 points ahead of everybody else. But now you have a close presidential race. Yes, President Trump is leading in many of the polls now, but by and large, a close presidential race that the public deserves to be able to have all of the facts they need to make their decision for what will be one of the most consequential elections in American history. Whether you're on the left or right, it doesn't matter. That's something we should all be able to get behind. And dare I say, unite this country around making debate itself Great sure, we can go ahead and be, uh, well, Trump didn't debate, you know, you guys will have the double standard. Uh, my opinion, man, I'm going to be honest, I kind of just don't care. Like, yeah, I, I, I am saying that he's kind of the exception to the rule, but I'm only saying that because, dude, like Vivek just said, he was already leading without being on the polls. It's sort of like pointless. And on top of that, you know, the man literally, uh, uh, he campaigns everywhere he goes. He tells you, you know, exactly what he plans to do. He makes, uh, yeah, so there's that. Because the people that are currently running our country into the ground, they ain't finna let this happen. They, they're they not gonna make it happen. I would love to see it, but just like Biden's second term, it's not happening. I'll say this. So for everybody who's pointing out that Trump did not show up to debate the Republicans, we can agree that he had a reason, much less of an excuse to skip them. But hmm, what will Biden's reason or excuse be? Will there even be one given?